50 years ago, a pizza shop that was home to one of the biggest pipe organs in the world opened up in Portland. It was called the Organ Grinder. Well, now, five decades later, we're learning how that pipe organ helped inspire one man's lifelong passion. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us live from the restaurant's former location with more. Jeffrey? Pete and Nora, the organ grinder, sat here uh, until 1996 when it closed. It was here off of Southeast Raymond and 82nd, where you can see it also used to be a Chinese-American buffet. However, many of those who used to play here are still around the area. One of them told me he's been playing instruments since he was a kid, just like the accordion. There's a lot more fun with this than playing an accordion. And I hope I don't offend other accordionists, but... <laughs> Jonas Nordwall took interest in the organ when he was 12, and as you can hear, he's logged tens of thousands of hours since then. Uh, probably closer to 100,000 in my lifetime. I just gave away my age, so. <laughs> Nordwall says over the years, he's seen audiences and music both change, but the thing that stays consistent, the desire to hear current tunes of the time and the familiar ones people know and love. And even though it's an antique instrument, you can play a lot of material on this. It was, it's, that's where it got the name, you know, the unit orchestra, one-man band. The instrument that you're seeing played here at Cleveland High School is known for its use in the silent movie era. Nordwall says there's not many of them around anymore, and it's the only one that really works here in Portland. But he says the city has seen several organs over the years, including at the Organ Grinder, which opened up 50 years ago. But closed in 1996. And uh, again, now you can see by my hair color, I was around, I played all those, so. Over the years, he's developed a love for what he says has become an art form, which surprisingly, he says takes mathematics to fully comprehend, as there's a lot at play to make sure the instrument is making just the right sound. Nordwall says from behind the scenes, there's roughly 2,000 pipes working to produce the sounds that you're hearing from the other side. <laughs> you have to have a pretty good math background to understand how to get certain musical results. Nordwall played at the organ grinder for 10 years and says he and four others who also used to play there will be holding a benefit concert to help Cleveland High School choir students take a class trip. So, you know, you're giving kids a total experience that's really great and you don't have that opportunity, you know, in Portland, let's face it. He's glad to see some of those students interested in taking up the mantle for the historical instrument that he knows and loves. There, I mean, there's, it's not a big future, but there is a future for it. The hour and 15 minute long benefit concert will be held at Cleveland High School on October 7th, October 7th, and there will be performances at both 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock p.m. Tickets are available online. Reporting live from Southeast Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.